no one would know that this duck is actually mushroom. I saw this recipe on Instagram from No Meat Disco, and I knew I had to try it. This is duck pancakes, but they're made with mushrooms. I'm making a little bit different version of the mushroom duck, but kind of something similar. First, we need our sauce. I'm gonna start with a small saucepan over a medium heat and whisk together a quarter cup of soy sauce, quarter cup of your favorite barbecue or hoisin sauce. I'm using not steak sauce, my sauce, which should be back in stock very soon. I will let you know. And we also need two teaspoons of sesame oil, one and a half tablespoons of rice vinegar, two cloves of garlic I chopped really fine, a little bit of white pepper, and I'm gonna whisk this together, then add in a about a little glug of molasses. Now, while this is heating and coming to a simmer, I'm gonna create a cornstarch slurry with just one teaspoon cornstarch and a little bit of water. I'm gonna pour that right in, stir that up, remove this from the heat, cover it up, and let it sit aside until we need the sauce. This is gonna thicken up really nice. Now we need to make our pancakes. These are super easy, they're so good, and you can use them for so many different things. First, we need two cups all-purpose flour in a large bowl, and then we're gonna add one cup of water that was just boiling and then mix together. I'm gonna let these cool down just enough to be able to handle and then knead it until it's smooth. Toss it right back into the bowl, cover it up and let it rest for about 20 minutes, which is plenty of time for me to tell you about Made In. So I've been using Made In cookware since probably around 2018, 2019. It was the first time I got one of their skillets and it was incredible. I used to hang them in the wall of my old studio. I loved them so much. Made In designs professional quality products for the home cook. Their stainless clad pans are crafted in Italy and used by professional chefs in some of the world's best kitchens. Like they're used in multiple three Michelin star restaurants. That's huge. And I love cooking with Made In. Their premium five ply stainless steel material is what sets it apart from other pans. It allows for superior heat retention, even heating and easy heat control. And the design is so thoughtful. The curvature of the walls is calculated for deeper searing and easier flipping, while the rolled rims allow you to pour sauces without spilling. It's genius. They partner with multi-generational factories and artisans to help bring you a curated collection of materials and shapes you need in the kitchen. So gang, check out the Stainless Collection and Maiden's other cookware by using the link in my description to save on your order. Maiden, thanks for sponsoring today's video and for creating the most incredible cookware. I love this stuff, I love it. Okay, now we need to make our mushroom duck. I'm gonna be using king oyster mushrooms, these gigantic, massive mushrooms. You can find these at a lot of grocery stores, but probably a little bit smaller. So you just wanna use more. There's about 16 ounces of mushrooms here, and these are gonna shrink up quite a bit. I'm gonna wash my mushrooms I don't care what anybody says to me. You're wrong if you don't wash mushrooms, but each their own. Now I'm gonna cut these mushrooms in half, shred them with a fork, and then tear them by hand into kind of like chunks and strips. Now I just wanna toss these all into a large bowl along with a quarter cup of cornstarch, two tablespoons of five spice powder, and a pinch of salt. I'm gonna just cover the bowl up, then toss them around to combine. Now I'm gonna get a large frying pan heated up with a decent amount of vegetable oil over a medium high heat. Now I'm gonna toss these mushrooms in just a little bit at a time so that way they they have plenty of room so they can crisp up, turning them over and agitating them about halfway through. Then I'm gonna pull them off and set them onto a paper towel lined rack. Now, these are gonna take a little bit of time to fry. While these are frying, I'm gonna julienne some cucumbers and spring onions. I'm gonna start with half the cucumber, slice it in half and then into quarters and then remove the seeds by slicing down the center. Really easy. Then remove the top and slice into matchsticks. Now for the green onion, we're just gonna remove the root, the top quarter of the green onion, slice in half half and then slice long ways. Super easy. Now we can start prepping our pancakes. Now for our pancakes, I just need to cut these into 18 little balls. First in half, then into quarters, and all the way down until you get to 18. Next, we're just gonna roll them out, flatten them into balls, and then I'm gonna brush them with a bit of sesame oil. I might've used a little bit too much here, but that's okay. Now I'm just gonna pair them up, flatten them again by hand, and then roll them as pretty, pretty thin. Then in a nonstick skillet over a medium high heat, we're gonna brush it with a little bit more oil and toss them in until they're really lightly dotted. You don't wanna go too far. Now this part's a little tough, you gotta watch your fingers because they will burn. You're going to immediately pull these apart and set them aside. I mean, I, I, it's really not that easy. I, I, if you let them cool down too much, they will stick. So I, I did try to get them apart as quick as I could. Now that the mushrooms are fried, they look amazing. I'm going to toss them into a bowl, cover them with my sauce, toss them around and look at these. These look amazing. The, the sunlight coming into the window perfectly at this time, I mean, really helped. But I mean, seriously, these look amazing. So now let's make our duck 
pancakes with mushrooms. We're just gonna take one of our pancakes, load it up with the mushrooms, add in the cucumbers and green onions, and then cover with some sesame seeds. Now, this is funny, but I'm using everything seasoning just because it, it's really good and it has sesame seeds in it. Now you can see these came out magical, but let's see what Monica has to say. Okay, baby. All right, I'm stoked. I can't wait to see what you think about this. It's gonna be super good. Super good. Boom. Cheers. This is right up your alley. Mm. Mm, delicious. Mm-hmm. I love this. So, what do you think? It tastes really good. It tastes like, kind of like an Asian mushroom, meaty kind of like texture. Mm-hmm. With um, cucumbers. Mushroom texture? Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's got like a meaty bite to it, snap. A bit of a mushroom texture. I'm thinking more like the, there's the crisp mm -hmm. from the mushroom, from like the like the fried bits. Mm -hmm. And almost like, it's supposed to mimic like duck pancakes, which okay. I don't even know if you've ever had. Mm -mm, no. More of like, there's like a fattiness. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you taste that. Well, yeah, it's got like a fattiness, almost like a grizzle-ish, mm -hmm. but not- A little tougher. Yeah, but not like gross or anything. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah, it's got like that bite and snap to it, you know? Mm -hmm. And I, yeah, I just really like it. Like it tastes like right like you said right up my alley like yeah. i feel like i'm eating like a noodle bowl in a taco or, yeah you know a taco mm. all in all this is awesome the pancakes are right up my alley i love these these mm -hmm. are you know like what i mm. order at um at a few of the asian places that mm -hmm. we go to yeah this love is these, delicious like, pancakes mm. yeah and i love the flavor of it too and then having the cucumber and onion in there mm -hmm. is like refreshing with it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. really adds a lot no meat disco does one with like a little bit of vegan mayo mm. and i bet that would be good too mm -hmm. All in all, this is a 10 for me. Oh my God, it's a 10 for me yeah, too. Go I on, love go it. On. Okay. Boom, it's a 10. It's a 10. Mm, mm. You think that's enough? Mm hmm. Okay, I want to take this little piece. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. You know me, I have a hard time always picking Wrap it tight, wrap it tight. That's the, that's the reason. Okay. <laughs> I mean, wrap it real tight. Mm, so good. So yeah, I think the 16 ounces of mushrooms was enough to make six. Mm. You had two pancakes? Mm hmm. Two, or this is my third. I mean, easily, Walker's walking around right now, just driving me nuts. Walker, why do you always do that? As soon as we start, probably easily enough to make like seven or eight yeah, pancakes. Yeah, I was gonna say eight. Yeah, I'm so happy this is our dinner. Yeah. So good. Mm-hmm, me too. Mm, it's delicious. Mm. Perfect. Yeah, with the mayo, that's really good. Mm. Mm. Is mm. it? Yeah, I really like it with the mayo. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I liked it without, but wow. Mm. Mm. Really good. Well, that's dinner. Mm-hmm.